Hello everybody. My name is Patriotic Mapping, formerly known as Global Ball Mapping, Colonial Mapping, whatever. But um probably I'm gonna change it again. But this is a tutorial for Flash, especially CS5, on how to animate country balls. As seen in my animated shorts movie that just came out. Those links will be in the description. I also base this tutorial off another tutorial, which I'll also have that link in the description. He is a lot more famous than me, obviously. So, let's just get started. So, first just open up your program. You could use Adobe Animate, Flash ES6, same thing. Okay. So... Once your program has loaded, this is what I hope you should have up. You need to create a new Action Script 3.0 and automatically just change this to fit in window. Also, make sure this is on Animator. Essentials could work too, but Animator is best for this situation right here. So, what you need to do is just create another layer. Just in case if you want a background, which I'll go over in another video. But layer 2 is usually going to be your country ball. And in this tutorial, we're going to show how to move one. Or like, in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to make your country ball like lively, walk, and so, so forth. So, right now we're going to do file. Well, this is because I already have a country ball made so I'll go to file import import the stage alright and then once your files came up you'll just go to the file wherever your country balls are at so I'll just type in my files country balls open these are all the country balls I've ever made so Let's go to one of the updated USAs. Alright, this is your country ball right here. Um, it doesn't matter if this changes again. It's alright. Switch to free transform tool, the hotkeys Q. Just resize it to whatever you want. Usually you don't want it taking up the entire screen like that. Because that obviously won't work just won't look good at all and there we go so if you want it to start off from off the canvas itself you want to zoom out a bit so go to either 50 or 25 percent right now we'll do 25 we'll drag her out and get that resize perfect Alright, what you want to do, just to make sure you're not confused, rename this to your country ball name, and rename this layer to background. You just change them simply by double clicking, or going into their properties, like this. Alright, next, zoom back in slightly. And you could always just scroll in like this. Make sure your FPS rate over here is about 30, 38. That's what I use for all my animations, such as like the movies and everything like that. It really just depends what you're working on, but 38 is the best for a beginner going to like a moderate stage. Also, make sure that your canvas is at 1280 by 720 if you're going to send this on YouTube or anything like that. Because that is HD quality. It works the best for me. That's what all my videos are. Mostly. Alright, now we can animate the country ball. What you want to do is to have just some space in the beginning. So, you click on this. You hit control on your keyboard or command, whatever. Whatever your computer is. And then click on the other one insert keyframe 
insert keyframe will allow you to move your country ball and keep its position whatever you want to do so right now for 40 frames our country ball will just be sitting here just doing nothing but now you want to move it I say the best moving animation would be to go every five frames so you insert keyframe after another five frames and then you send in the country ball slightly and be careful not to move it sometimes holding down shift and just moving it we'll just only move it to the side without like going up or down whatever and scroll down here just so you have enough room next you're going to make the country ball go down because it's already basically up here so going down for my country balls I usually go down two every five frames and then I go up every two however when you hit this down like the second down you resize it like this I'll set control Z and that's how you basically animate but I'll just show you for sure move it slightly so we moved from these 40 frames and then the five frames after you just moved your country ball next we want them to move down well first make a new keyframe I always forget this obviously it's really horrible if you forget this it's really a tedious process we're just gonna pretend that he already went down once so he's gonna go down once more move him down a bit and he's going to do that be sure to move this down even more because when you do this when you resize it it changes like its position basically so just make sure you redo that next frame 55 insert keyframe then you move the country ball up a bit and then you only resize it back just a little bit just to give it like the jumping animation next is frame 60 and it's going to go up again. Boom. Normal size. 65. There. 70. Then he hits the ground again. This is a little choppy, but I'm just making it quick just for the sake of this being a tutorial. 75. If you want it to be less choppy, you'll make the movements very like less subtle than they usually are. Alright, frame 80. Just make sure this is right. Up, down, down, up, up. Get 85. Down 90. Down. And then when you want your country bell to stop, you'll do another five frames and slowly just resize him back to its normal size alright now it's back to its normal size now you want to preview it you want to see what you did to your animation let's fit in the window we'll just see if this is alright to preview all right it's good now you need to hit control 
test scene. There you go. You have your walking animation. Now, you may be asking, how do I save this? Well, this also takes longer. You need to go to File, Export, Export Movie, Desktop, or wherever you want to save this. Name it whatever you want. And do Windows AVI. This might not work for you. If you're Mac, I would try QuickTime Movie. Animated GIFs don't really work. Wave is just audio and all the others just don't work. Swift, well, dot .swf, Swift, is what I use sometimes if I ever use GIFs, which I'll do that in another tutorial. But for this sake, we're just going to do AVI. Alright, tutorial AVI. Save. Make sure you compress it. And make sure the width and height is the same that you had over here. And then, okay. And you could pick whatever compressor you want. I just chose this out of randomness. It works for me. Now, I really had a hard time with this at first. I just had to learn this myself. Like, almost no tutorial online had the exact answer to this. But now, your movie is saved. However, if you try playing it, it simply won't play. It just won't play. The way you fix this is... You open it in Movie Maker or any movie editing software you have. I use Movie Maker for all of my videos. Just wait for it to load. Once it loads, just make sure this is it. Alright, that's it. Alright. Now once that you got your movie verified that's actually it and it works, I'm just gonna go to file, save movie for high definition display, that always works the best. Desktop or whatever you want to put it, name it, and make sure it's MP4. And after it finishes saving, you did it. You created your first country ball animation. That was actually good. Play. There you go. That's your animation. Hope you all enjoyed. I will make more videos like this. Because... It was highly requested. Alright. See you next time.